Hey guys, welcome back to DAS. In this video, we are going to be building this 4 inch micro apex frame right now. So stay there, guys. So here's how the actual um, Apex 4 frame comes. Comes a nice little bag again, just like the Apex 3. So let's get this out, let's see what's here, and we're gonna start putting this together straight away. Here it all is. So as normal, you get your nice little um, battery strap, you get a couple of files, just in case you need to use them, just to make some holes a bit, bit bigger. You get a... Um, Warranty card, which is nice, so you can sort of validate your product. You get the plastics as well for the feet, lovely jubbly. There's the four inch arms. And I believe the rest of it is um, exactly the same as the three inch apex, but the arms are actually slightly different. So this should go together very quickly. And if you'd like to follow the apex free, I'll link that up here as well. So let me get all these bits out and we'll get going. So here's all the parts guys all laid out. You've got your top plate, you've got some battery pads, you've got your feet, you've got the main parts of the frame where your mounting bolts are gonna go for your stack and stuff. Uh, you've got your camera plates, you've got your special little locking piece and this piece will um, obviously go in between for the legs, so it locks it all in place nicely. That is your key part to the apex, so don't lose that. Um, yeah, so more battery pads, which are to the side for now. Massive selection of screws. Some of these screws are actually for um, motors, so some we don't need because I have motor, motor bolts actually come with the motors, so they're all fine. And yeah, that's it. So let's get just straight into this. So first things first, let's look at some mounting. And we're obviously gonna go with these mounting bolts here. And they are just gonna sit nicely in there, like so. What I might do is add, they'd have some little washers as well. So I'm going to add the washers in on the bottom. Just so it gives it a bit more grip. washer there it is so there's four of those find your mountain bolts two three and four so they just squeeze through there so groove out at the bottom and the bolts So there we go, 
That is the mounting bolts in place. I'm obviously going for a lovely little um, 2020 stack again, and it's going to be another Mamba stack because I absolutely love them. There. So next things, what we're going to do is we're going to get these holding, um, all these lock pieces into the frame. And these sit through these holes there. So these holes, they sit on top. And what you have to do is you have to pull it through with a special bolt that they actually provide in the kit. They provide one of these little, let me show you. They provide one of these and you use that to tighten up these um, locking bolts, which grip into the carbon and then you remove this and then rebuild the frame. So let's do that now. So that sits in top. Hopefully you can see that. Let's do this a different way. So just put the bolt through. Get your grip nut. And put it on top. So the teeth, teeth go down and it grips into the carbon. So you can tighten this up a little bit by hand. And then grab your tool and just start tightening. Wrong tool. Just start tightening. Hopefully you can see this. And keep on going. And that. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Gets pulled into the carbon. And locks tight into place. And then you remove this bolt. And that leaves you this locking uh, piece into the carbon. It's, you know, stays there nicely. So repeat for the rest of them and we'll be back. There we go, simple as that. All four are now in place and we're ready to move on. So, this, this is the actual back, this is the front. You know this is the front because you've got the camera mount holes in there. So it doesn't really matter which way up that is. That's gonna be sitting like this because this is the back and this is where the TBS crossbar is gonna sit for me. And it goes like so. So, next things are the arms. The trickiest part, maybe. Make sure I find the correct bolts. Three and four. So you need these ones next. And you need the plastic pieces as well. So those bolts fit through the plastic like so. They go underneath. So they will sit like that. I'm gonna zoom in and try and show you this. Let's put all of those together. This is the hardest part, trying to get these feet in for some reason, or arms, whatever you want to call them. So they are like so. The arms, I've got to just point out as well, make sure the hole in the arms are pointing up, because that's where your motor's going to sit. Like so, and this little piece goes in that way. Yeah, not that way, that way. Probably be easier with one of these arms off.
go. There it is, all into place. And now this goes on top like so, and you just tighten it all up. So as long as you can pick it up without dropping it, you'll be fine. See, and that's what happens. So I'm gonna get this in place as quick as I can now. up so it just falls apart as soon as you let go it's a bit of a nightmare let's just start to get one in place I've lost my tool now you know when nothing goes right I'm having one of those days today that can just start to get that going. Right, it's all still in place. There we go, that's all in place nicely. So that is, we're almost there really with that. That is basically the whole frame almost done. We've got to get some struts on, a bit of plastic on the, on the front, I believe. And we're there, we're home dry. So we've got the nose, little plastic piece for the nose, that's gonna go in, that's gonna go on there. And then we've got some struts. We've got some different size struts because obviously the back is raised, so the shorter ones go on the back. There should be two shorter ones, they go on the back. So let's get those in place. Last of it goes on the nose. The rest of the standoff should be all the same size. So there, all the standoffs are in place. Camera mounts, there's only one way these can really go in. And that's with the one foot at the front. So there, we are cooking on gas there. That is pretty much all in place. Top plate, top plate just goes on like so. tight on this one for some reason. There we go, it's got him. So there we go, get this top plate on and we are pretty much there guys.
There we go guys, that is it. That is basically the Apex four inch frame complete and built. So quite happy with that. Went together very easy. It's a very easy build guys. Hopefully my video is easy enough for you to follow along. If not, leave a comment below and I will try to improve them as I go along. But yeah, there she is. You get all your feet. Like I said, there's some plastic feet there. There's battery pads to stick on. There's the um, battery strap. All of these, you get some spares. Like I said, most of these are actually uh, mounting bolts for the motors, but you get some different size mounting for the for the stack compared to what, well, if you're gonna use something different. It's all there, it's a lovely little frame kit, guys. Really like the three inch build. I'm doing the four inch build, full build to come. And I've got some lovely motors I'm gonna stick on that. We're gonna be doing another member stack in here. It's gonna be a great build. And as soon as it's done, I'll link it all up and hopefully you can follow along. There you go, guys, that's it. Smash that thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and let's keep on doing these. See you again. Cheers.